Hey, YouTube, it's Aiden slash Burger Bob, whatever you want to call me, on our next brand, BAC. Again, my disclaimer, I work for two drum corps, Pacific Crest, sponsored by Jupiter, and Cadets, sponsored by Yamaha. Uh, and my views do not represent these two organizations in any way. Um, and I play mostly con Selmer instruments, um, but they're all old, so it doesn't count. And I'm not sponsored by them. So moving on, BAC. Um, BAC is a company based out of Kansas, run by Mike Corrigan. It is not called BAC. It is B-A-C. You say every letter um, and don't pronounce them all as one. There's names for those, and I can't remember what they are because I'm bad with words, as you well know. So first things first, I played the BAC bass trombone that they had of the show. Um, this is played by Reggie Chapman, who is a super cool dude who I think is around my age, but I, I really have no idea. Um, you seem pretty young. That's pretty cool. Anyway, um, he was playing when I walked up, and I was like, hey, man, uh, you know, I've seen your videos and stuff. You sound great, but can I try it? And so he pulled out the Mad Pipe, which is the lead pipe and mouthpiece he was using, um, and put in a normal lead pipe and let me try it. The Mad Pipe is this cool thing being developed by this dude who I, I don't know his name at all. Um, and it's like this giant long lead pipe with a taper that goes all the way from the start of the upper slide tube to the bottom of the, uh, almost to the bottom of the upper slide tube. It's like three feet long almost. Um, it's just like a giant lead pipe that is connected to a mouthpiece. So it's like one big piece instead of a mouthpiece fitting into the lead pipe. Um, and it's supposed to like make the sound more even and give better overtones and all this kind of stuff. Um. I wanted to play one at ITF because they had a green hoe tuning and slide bass with one, but I never got the chance. And so Reggie just happens to have one, and he was playing with it. Anyway, moving on, on to his bass. Um, he put in a normal lead pipe. I don't know what it was. And I played the BAC bass. It was surprisingly good. BAC makes some weird-looking instruments um, with some interesting construction techniques. Um, and... Like, if you look at them, you'd go, that looks kind of gimmicky, and I'm not sure if it's going to work. But this horn just was like a really, really good commercial, jazzy-sounding bass. It was insanely flexible. If you've watched Reggie Chapman play anything, you would know that it's very flexible because he is very flexible in what he plays. He is all over the horn, just using the valves, using his face, moving the slide. I mean, he's just everywhere. And this horn is very well suited for that, and I'm not surprised. And that was kind of cool, because not a lot of bass drum ones are super flexible like that. That was cool. And it blew very well. Um, it was open down low. It had a pretty good high range. Um, I liked the sound. It was very vintage commercial. The tuning slide and bell are based off of the Williams 10. Williams being a guy who made a bunch of um, trombones, models, I think four, six, maybe seven, eight, nine, and ten. Um, kind of going from smaller to larger, the ten being the base. And um, they're kind of out there a little bit, a little bit larger than a lot of other horns. Um, a little bit different sound, and this kind of showcases that. It was not something I've ever really heard before, and I really liked it. This horn had Meinl Schmidt open flow valves. They seemed to be like the valve of the show. They were everywhere. Um, and played very open. The valves are set apart. They're independent, but it's like one valve and then tubing and then another valve and then the tuning slide. So much different setup than a normal independent bass. Um, I'm not sure if that's great or not. Um, the looks of the instrument are kind of out there. It's definitely pretty funky. Um, some interesting bracing and stuff. And it was, it kind of looks unfinished. I'm not against that because my horns don't look super great or finished, but Still pretty out there. This horn had no paddles because Reggie doesn't like playing with paddles, and it's actually the bass he uses right now. Um, and I would probably have paddles put on just for a little more comfort, but it wasn't bad. Ergonomics were okay. I thought it was a little um, little uncomfortable, but I would use a brace or something with it anyway. Um, anyway, this bass was super cool, and Reggie was super cool too. We talked for a while, um, traded mouthpieces. Uh, he got to use mine. I got to use his. Um, he sounded great, obviously. And he kind of wanted to buy my Greg Black or, you know, one similar to it. 
Um, and that was cool. Just got to talk to him for a bit. And he, obviously, he's a super cool player and just a super cool dude. And it was nice having him at the booth to talk about the bass. Um, and he had his bass trumpet there, also built by BAC. That's the next instrument. I thought this bass trumpet, which also looks very funky, was really, really good. Um, bass trumpets are a pretty little particular instrument that needs to kind of do one thing really well, and that is sound like bass trumpet and not valve trombone and not, like, really, really bad. And that is a really hard target in the middle of those things to hit, as well as being easy to play and being in tune and, like, having valves that move and all this kind of stuff. And this one kind of t ticked all the boxes. It sounded like bass trumpet. It was really easy to play. Great valves. Um, it was in tune. I mean, that's, like, the biggest thing is even the $4,000 Miraphone B-flat slash C bass trumpets are just, like, super out of tune and hard to play. And they sound great, but they're just – everything else is not good about them. Um, and this was really good in every respect. So good job, BAC, on the bass trumpet. And then a little treat, I got to play the BAC Super Bowl instrument. This is going to be used by the guy playing with um, some really big band, and I feel bad for not remembering what it was, but he's in the horn section for this giant band, maybe Bruno Mars or something, um, and no one had played this horn at the show yet, so that was pretty neat. It has a carbon fiber slide, um, 547, single bore. Um, it had a George Roberts 10-inch bell on it, for some reason, plus LEDs and all this cool stuff. Um, and it's a tenor trombone. Just, I mean, just putting that out there, it's a tenor trombone. It was actually pretty good. It played okay. Um, it wasn't, like, amazing, but it was pretty cool. And I would love to have a carbon fiber slide in the future. That is just the coolest thing ever. Like, this really light, almost indestructible slide that um, plays almost as well as, you know, something made out of brass. I wouldn't mind getting one of those in the future. So BAC, pretty cool, uh, really cool people. I got to talk to the guys who make them and um, other people who work with those guys. Uh, cool booth. I'm glad I went by, and the horns I played were good. The, Of course, BAC is known for their small horns. I didn't play any of those. I'm sorry, guys, but I don't want to embarrass myself, so I stayed away from those. Anyway, BAC, good stuff. Next video.